Like it, like it. We made it. We made it. Hey, hey, hey. hey sing it. Sing it. Say, we made it. guys so this is the day that I'm gonna be leaving my hometown nobody knows I don't know where I'm gonna go but I'm just doing what God is telling me to do I'm gonna be vlogging my whole entire process and I don't know I'm really scared right now but do is scared anyways I gotta do what I gotta do and none of my family members know nobody know but a few people and that's it so Come on this journey with me. And yeah, we just gotta be, be obedient to what God is telling us to do, no matter what it looks like. And this is one of those times. So, I'm kinda sad. I'm kinda sad because I'm leaving everybody. And at the same time, it's like, this is something that I ha have wanted, but I didn't think it was gonna happen this way. And God literally told me to leave this weekend. And, I'm so sad. So, y'all gonna see me say my goodbyes to everybody. And it's not really gonna be goodbye because nobody really knows that I'm leaving. So. I'm sorry, I don't wanna cry on camera. I really don't wanna cry on camera right now. But I'm so, I, I really don't even know. I don't even know. What you say, say it. Another year we gonna take it for a year for another year It's your bestie, this this bestie Don't try to test me, just wanna get messy Just, just bless me, bless me Another year we gonna take it for a year for another year Bobby, I didn't finish this all Okay, go No, you not. <laughs> this room to the back of the room. Can you declare he is who he is? Whatever the situation is, you got to declare. And we're going to help lead you to the moment. But you got to believe it. Amen. and using as the framework for building my walk with Christ and maybe it was a broken framework. Maybe if I remove that, that my life and my journey would be healthier than what it's been. Yes. We see Jesus here in Matthew 23 and 1. He's talking uh, to his disciples and he's addressing the crowd and he's talking about the Pharisees and he says something that if I can be totally honest when I was studying, it rocked me. And the reason it rocked me is because I'm, I'm such a, uh, an integrity person, a person that believes in you, that you need to have integrity, you need to have character. And I've lived by that. My grandfather taught me that I stood by it, that a man who doesn't have character, you just can't be trusted. And I, and I just, from the stage to the door, is exempt from the human experience. And if God is using you, it's proof that you broke it. This is why, because he's chosen the weaker things of this world. trying to disqualify the message because of the messenger you can miss critical wisdom yeah. like you may have somebody in your life that tells you you know you need to love more and you're like how, how dare you tell me i need to love more and you end up well i ain't saying i'm perfect but you still gotta obey the word Hello. or somebody may say hey you need to forgive that person that hurt you but well, you telling me to forgive have you forgiven i'm still working on it too but hey you also need to forgive you don't forget my eyes either. In the same way I've been holding you up, I've been holding them up. This is why you gotta keep your mouth off people. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Cause it may be that God is the one holding them up and if God is defending them, God will stop me from speaking on them. That we need the judgment to God and say, God, this belongs to you here in John 2 and 3. 
we see that John recorded a portion of scripture and I love John's recording because he has the detail that nobody else has. See in the triumphant entry when Jesus goes to clean out the temple, you know, Matthew and Mark you know, and Luke, they, they share the story, but they share it uh, like almost cut chase to the point because they don't have the experience that John had. You know, John was the back to say thank you. So when I'm giving my gift to God, I'm saying, God, this is my way to come back and to say thank you. I don't give tithe, I return the tithe. I don't give an offering, I return the offering because I know without the hand of God on my life, I wouldn't have it in my life. That, that, I, that I give to God, but I don't have to give to be blessed. I'm blessed already because yeah. I have Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. See, when you read your Bible, you're going to read the scripture in Psalms 23 that says, goodness and mercy is following me all the days of my life. I don't got to chase the blessing. The blessing chases me. Okay. Right. Right. That's, a, that's, a, that's a mad mama with a house they clean. It says he knocks over the table. He scatters the money. You don't go in with the whip unless you're ready to hit somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I need you to catch what's happening with Jesus right here. Because this means, this is not the soft, cute, kind Jesus you've been reading about in your books. See, we only know the Jesus who had the kids and was giving out gushers. No, he's... He's both and. The Bible says it's a dangerous thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. Yes, yes, yes. That, that, that he's the lion and yes, the lamb. Come on. Come he's on. not just the lamb that takes away the sins. He's also the lion of Judah. Yes. And when you talk about the lion of Judah, lions are only beautiful when you watch them on Discovery Channel. When you stand in front of a lion, you feel terror. All right. You become unstoppable. I, I know you believe in Jesus, but are you passionate about it? Oh. You said what? <laughs> Your cup? You're like a little thug today. <laughs> Hi. Where my cup? Where my cup? Somebody said a door look that baby. Look, yeah. look at that baby. Yeah. <laughs> girl. Look at my girl right there. Hey girl. She was snack. What you want? What you want? Tito's. The choice. <laughs> what you finna tell them? Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Guys, we just left church and we're about to go get ready to get some gas and stuff so we can hop on a road and the rest is history so I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time um, you know I'm just gonna do what God is telling me to do y'all I really like I really want to cry right now but God has literally just gave me a word through the pastor or whatever and just to know that we can't be lukewarm through the situation. Like, I really have to really trust God, like, and not go back to my old ways and not go back to the things that I feel like would make me be in a better position, but to trust God. Like, I have to literally trust Him no matter what it looks like. And this is literally, this is literally that for me. Just being obedient. And I'm, I'm like, I'm really like, I, I'm really trying not to cry on camera because I really don't want to cry on camera right now. But, it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a journey. 
Yeah. So I just made it to the gas station. Sit down. And I'm gonna get me some gas. Fill up this tank. It's gonna take me about $150 to get there. I'm definitely not driving my car back ever. What pump is that? Uh, I think that's pump six. Uh, 30 on pump six. 35, let's do 35. Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> A nice brother. Do you understand? Yeah, so we've we're passing through Chicago right now. I love Chicago. I really love Chicago. Yeah, yeah. My kids are still a little confused about what's going on, but they know that we're going to a different city. Yeah. And, and we go to a new house. Yeah. Yeah, so um I just had to stop to go get me some more gas. Um we are like I say like what six hours in? I mean not six hours, like almost six hours in, four hours in, we got six more hours left. No, we six hours in. Yeah. Five or six hours in. And we got six more hours left and we bought the touch down y'all so we just got to nashville tennessee oh my god it's been a ride i tell you and we still have about like three more hours to go i am so exhausted i'm ready to go to bed a seer keeps mommy 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 and me all day and it's irritating but know I love him but you know how to be if you want mama you know how to be when you can, can you just can mommy just get a break jeez louise no no you can't no you can't it just don't work like that but yeah we just made it to Nashville Tennessee so we got three more hours to go and I really have no idea no clue what and where I'm gonna go and what I'm gonna do because literally have no money right now i don't know this is so crazy to me like it's so crazy to me like why would god send me in the middle of nowhere with no funds okay <laughs> i literally only had enough money for gas and i barely had money for gas to get up here you know but we gonna see where god is taking me and the rest is history what you say is here we got a new hometown What's the new hometown name? You forgot that fast? Yes. They forget us. What do you call me? Atlanta. New hometown. Uh, new. 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 Uh, new.
literally almost three hours away. I've been driving for freaking 14 hours to almost 16 hours straight. I'm exhausted. My kids are exhausted. Like, my daughter's literally asleep on the floor somewhere. Like, she fell on the floor, y'all. And she's literally asleep on the floor somewhere. And I don't have the strength to stop and go get her up right now because I literally... I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Like, I'm just so tired of driving and I'm about to run out of gas. Okay. My camera cut. We made it. We made it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, sing it. Sing it. Say, we made it. Let's hear. Look at the camera. Say, say, we made it. We made it. <laughs> so I made it up here to a really good friend's room. Um, I'm about to take me a shower and stuff. I just took my kids a shower and yeah, I'm just about to get dressed and freshen up. I, it's been a long one. There's toys in here. Huh? There's toys in here we can play with. Okay, why are y'all just opening stuff? Uh uh. No, that's There's not yours. Toys. Yeah. Only take two. One, one, one for you and one for her. That's it. We not staying here long. So we're not gonna be staying here long for real. Um, I'm just gonna take me a shower and stuff because I need to take me a shower really bad. So I got the shower ready and stuff. And yeah. God said in this season, you don't got time to be cute. This ain't time to be cute. It's time to listen and do what God is telling you to do no matter what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>